back the pants. Da -da -da. Oh, folks, today we're gonna be drawing Miles Tails Crower, so that should be fun. So we're gonna start off with the black outline of the ears. So let's try and make him. Don't make him too big, because this will be a big drawing. So we'll make it about that size. Now, Miles Tails Prower, or whatever, has got a nice little eyes. So we're gonna make him straight on the bottom and all the way up. Now. As you can see, I did not fill in the lines there, and you're gonna want the lines filled in. Okay. Now, as he's got one eye in, obviously he's gonna have to have two full eyes, or else he's gonna look really weird. So make sure that he has his eyes. Now, now that his eyes are filled in, do one more little small eye in the bottom to make him look like a real live fox. Don't make him too scary, though. He might get scared off. Now. Miles per hour, it's got a nice little nose. Let's make it about to here. And let's make it with a nice little end on it, but let's come up here. Because this end of his nose is actually on the white part. It comes off his face. So now that we bring this in, come off this side, and then bring it in, and there you go. There's his nice little nose. Now let's bring in his face together here. And Let's draw him a little smile. Kind of know how tails would look. So tails are pretty happy color, I guess. And what we should actually do over here is probably attach this. So tails there. He's kind of got a big, big thing, but that's fine. Now for the body, you're probably gonna want. We're gonna actually zoom out here. We're gonna make this a little bigger because this is gonna be a big drawing. So if I were you, I would make this drawing a little bigger. Now. With it being bigger, that means you have to draw a little bit smaller. So, let's draw this nice little body here. The tail's body is going to have also, he's going to have a nice inside white part uh, that surrounds the orange that comes off. Now, Tails has got two feet, like his buddy Sonic. And see there? Make sure you fill that in. Well, that's going to cause some problems later. So, remember to do this with the shoes. And then make a nice rig rounded shoe over there. Now, Sonic, his shoes are a little different as you're going to probably want a line there. And another line there to make it look like two rings on his shoe. You're going to probably want to cut right here. Cut her in half. Now, there's one shoe. And you're going to want one more down here. And as this one comes down, you're going to want to make sure everything's connected. But this leg is pretty good. So then make it good. Cut it. Bring it down. And remember the two loops. One. Two. To make it look like socks. Now remember the one line. Oh, shoot. I lost my mouse. Bring it down right here. Now, what you want to do is actually make him have an arm coming off the side into a rough off, the, off a ruffle of fur. So you gotta make a lot of ruffle of fur. You actually gonna want to do that here too. You wanna make it look like his legs are coming out of ruffles in his in his uh body. So we're gonna do that here too. And then we're gonna do that actually on the neck here. Do a little bit of squigglies. There. Now you're gonna want some nice arms, so let's make it look like he's got some nice big arms here. And he also wears gloves like Sonic, so we'll make him have nice gloves. And we're actually going to make him have his hands look like this. And there you go. So there's one hand of Tails. Now Tails obviously has two hands, because he's a fox. And all foxes have two hands. You didn't know that. There's your lesson of history for the night. Now, let's do this one little looper duper. Scooper. Whoop. There you go. And now Tails has got two hands, so you gotta bring him in. And there you go. There's his third, his second hand. So now, the thing about Tails is, is he's a fox with two tails that lets him fly. So from his bottom, you're gonna wanna make a small little line. It looks like he's starting off a big, small tail. Then you're gonna wanna come up way over here. You wanna make it into a big, ginormous tail. The end, and then right at the end it connects. So you're gonna want to make this look a little squiggly so it looks like a little end there. 
And if you're going to want to make this look exactly like tails, you're going to want to make it so it looks like he has two tails on one side. So that it looks like he is running. So you're going to want to put the tail bone behind his arm, actually, so it looks cool. And so then it comes up. This one will be behind this other tail. And this one's going to come up there. And then right here at the end, you're going to want to make it look like a big, nice, big curve. So there you go. And then right here, what do you do? Yeah. And so actually, one thing here probably says the other tail is really thick. You're going to want to make this one a little thicker. So we're going to have to take the eraser here. You know about the eraser. So erase, erase. Them. And after the erasing, you go back to the brush and you got to fill in this black line since we erased it and fill it in. So now it's time to fill in this guy. And so orange is the color of tails. And so this one shouldn't take very long to fill in because he's orange all around his body. As you're filling in, it should start looking like tails as that Sonic one did earlier. Um, so if you like these videos, uh, comment on them to tell me who you like, who you'd like to see next, and, um, uh, I'll try to draw them. I am the, uh, brick. This is really actually tough sometimes. Um, you guys don't know what it's like being a professional. Sometimes it gets really crazy, and so. Anyways, this tail is looking pretty good so far. Now, if you ask me, he actually does have white, but remember my rule, no white. So we're going to make it look like he has gray, because white is no fun, because then you don't get a color anymore. So we're going to make it actually look gray. So there you go, he's got a nice, oh, and look, we actually have a, a problem here, so go back to black. Fix up that glove right there. Fix it right up. There you go, it's all fixed. Go back to orange here when you go and fix that last bit of tail. Now it's all fixed. Okay, it's starting to look like tails. We only have a few more things to do. A nice little red. Oh, shoot. Oh, let's fix that up. And let's go over here. Oh, see, right here at the end here. We made a big mistake. Big, big mistake. So now let's go back to the brush. Fill in that nice red. His shoes look nice and cool. And now, actually, because that looks really weird, we're going to make this tail white. And we're going to make everything actually look white because the gray does not look good on tail. We're going to actually make it this um, lavender color. It, it's closer to white. Now, as you're going through this, be careful with your schemes. You want to make sure that all the schemes kind of match. So that kind of looks like white there. Make sure everything's everything that's white is filled in with that color. And then you're going to do one little bit of blue. Or pink, I guess, depending on what color of mouse you want. And then if you want his eyes to be purple or black, like his eyes are, there you go, you got yourself a Miles Tails per hour, so be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Spit in the Paints, da da da! <laughs>